I'm not supposed to talk over the intro, remember? You remember. You remember. Remember? I do remember. remember. I remember. You remember. I remember. My bad's not working. It's super broken. Oh, oh there it goes. Guess what? Jace. My, my, my crapple iPad is also not working. I like your mug, bro. they can't fix it. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Oh, sorry. Let me go this way. Oh, that, that'd, cover in, that'd be inverted. I like that Christopher's there, and I'm the, Actually, all three of us, the three amigos are here. Christopher, plain old, plain old. No, you're there. I'm telling you, I can see you in the little screen. <laughs> plain old, and uh, and Jake Mater. And Jake Mater says hello. Hola. Oh, welcome to the goggles of the beer. But welcome. I, but Bienvenidos de cervezas de Google. Is. I hate being so sexy, but I am from Czech Republic. I can, can't help. Yes, that is correct. Welcome. What are we talking about today there, Chuck Marcus? Bienvenidos. Yes. Well, this is coming to you live. Coming to you live from the treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. Zona, zona, zona. From the home offices in Gilbert. Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert. Arizona. Zona, zona. That's Chris's house. House, house. <laughs> Where some Team Smushy Face resides. Yes, yeah, where they're currently sides. sleeping and snoring and farting. I believe it is people and their GD superstitions. So uh, before we begin, we do, I do need to have one um, point of housekeeping. Housekeeping? Is it a point of clarification like a Robert's Rule of Order or no, just some housekeeping I issue? do need to suspend one of the previous boxerlove.org clarificational items this podcast the third rule of one dollar speaking about pp will be allowed because apparently there's many p superstitions that i just learned about <laughs> that are on the list of people that have p superstitions they drink them this is some fucked up people bro it's insane oh. well, it's part of survival training i think what that's why that's in why, baseball. That's why backdoor Commodore when he said something about having having the worm thing. I don't know. I thought they had to evacuate and revacuate. I didn't. I didn't know about that till today. I don't know. Man. Okay, I'm I'm out. Look, man. So he's Take out. Take care of your deal, dealers and your servers. That's I'm right. Uh, my, so the, the rule wrist, about if you mention PP, <clears throat> one dollar going to boxerluv.org has been suspended for today's beer. Indefinitely or just today? Today's beer oh. Google's episode. Only. Only. Today. Unless I reinstate the revisional rule. This is the Houston asterisk in the World Series <laughs> and cocks. the Roger Maris asterisk in home runs. Is this correct? Is yes. This what we're doing? Okay. Just for today. Okay. Pee, 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 Woo! I feel so urination. I am such a free spirit now about my urine today because oh, I do. I owe zero dollars to the boxerlove.org. But please donate to boxerluv.org. Save the dogs. Yes, Team Smushy Base. Um, we we did mention on the not conscious, but not everybody listens to both of our podcasts. They don't? Because some are serious and some are fun. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have this. Who tells us? They They say, I heard you guys. I'm like, oh, great. They don't tell us what they heard they should what why not oh they're nice about it i just they don't they're just uh, i don't know anyway yes we're grateful for everyone who listens All but just in case you didn't you didn't hear yeah we are now back live on video first of all so congratulations uh, to tambian i don't i'm still not this is I'm, i like this i really? know you do i'm still i'm getting not. really comfortable with it because i'm this is working like looking at you at, through the screen thing there you are. Hola. See, come on in a little bit. Bring it in. Bring it in, Mira. Uh, uh, I'm still Mira. not. I'm still not. Um, You're not sold. No. Yet? Okay. And I look. T, I get it. Maybe maybe it'll grow in you like a nice fungus, but not mushrooms. Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> that freaked me the hell out. I'm like, what the hell just happened? I just uh, flung my just microphone cable over his hand. Yeah, and, and it he felt, freaked the uh, fuck uh, out. Uh, uh, it's like he ate a mushroom, but different. It was, it was worse, but worse this, did. look, this this little configuration currently, it looks like once again that we're separate. But sir, can you prove that we're not Oh my gosh, how dare you? It does really look like we are in two different rooms though, doesn't it? With the kind with the of, divider there? It kinda yeah, it kinda thing, does. Yeah. Because of the panel thing. It kinda looks like thingy. we're in different sides. Yeah. It's kinda weird though, but it's fun because it kinda reminds us of the original recordings. But yeah. The audio 
problem has been resolved. Yes. Uh, I'm shocked. It sounds amazing now. I'm very Amaze excited. Amaze balls. Amaze balls. So hopefully um, we got a very nice compliment from someone in the radio business. Shut up. Yeah. Um, they were talking, were, were talking about possibly them coming on as guests. Okay. Great. Um, but um, I don't, I'm not going to go too deep, but it was a radio personality at some point. And like me, it, it is a he. Yes. Like you. You, well, you're a podcast. You're a PP. Well, I was on the radio <laughs> for four you're, years. You're a PP. You're a podcast person. In college, bro. Yeah, I know. So it's like KFLI. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, pump up the volume. 106.7. Felt, like, felt like God's damn Christian Slater. Oh, yes. Um, anyway, so I uh, reached out, and you saw you saw the tweet. So Let's collaborate? We'll talk about Yeah, by okay, collaborating, yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah. So get on the phone. We talk. And I'm like, you yeah, know, I just want to let you know I take Real pride in one thing is the audio quality. That's why I use Zencaster, for example. Shout out yeah. to Z-E-N-C-A-S-T-R. Because all the other audio formats that we've used has been absolute rubbish. When we collaborate. When we collaborate. When we're Cell in phone, the same room, it's different. Yeah. Together, we sound amazing. You know, Our powers yeah. combined, we're great. Yeah. Combined with other people, it's like... Uh, we've had it's some like, issues. No, it's like pouring Mountain Dew in... A I'm sorry, pouring the the blue powerade into the Mountain Dew, the Diet Mountain Dew, not the other way around. We can't do it. Can't I forgot to it. show you yesterday what happened at Sam's Club. No. No, sir. What? <laughs> oh. At Sam's show Club, that. Yes. Show that, to the, show that Here, to the audience. You're closer. All right. There's a huge pallet. A whole pallet of Diet Mountain Dew Baja Blast, or just Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Yeah, it was Baja Blast. Man, I saw that shit. I forgot to text it to you last that night. That was beautiful. I would have started laughing. I would have probably snorted. I would have snorted. It was so funny. I, I was like, ah! I would have snorted. Good thing bro. this is not the Taco Bell drive thru where Checkmark would have freaked the fuck no, out. No, sir. <laughs> Honestly, I would have snorted. I would have oh, God, it was nose. funny, dude. Regardless of what it was, it could have come out of my check mug. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's funny. And we are talking about the uh, what are we what are we talking What's about? What's today's topic? Do we even talk about the topic? What are what are we talking about before and that? Weird sports and celebrity superstitions. Thank you from the home offices from the in home Gilbert, office. Gilbert, Arizona, G Town, coming to you live from the Treehouse in what Phoenix. Else? Hashtag Treehouse. Hashtag thank you, John, for calling it the Treehouse. Tio Juan. You know what? Now it's a Treehouse. That's right. The Treehouse Studio. I like. I bet somebody already has that name somewhere. I can't imagine them not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, how did you want to play this, sir? Uh, we want to go onesie twosies. Yeah, let's go back and forth with Do our you, favorites. Am I allowed to blow my load early? Blow on yes. Jennifer Aniston. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you're allowed to blow your load on Jennifer Aniston. Oh, anytime that's hysterical. You want. So you can blow your load on Jennifer Aniston anytime. You so want. what? What would you? What would you do, Jennifer Aniston or uh, Angelina Jolie? What, who would you choose? Physically? Like, if you were Brad Pitt. Jolie, Jolie is crazy. So the that's sex not would the, be phenomenal. Right, but that's not the question. Well, who would I choose? Like, yeah. Did he murder, make a mistake? Murder, murder, suicide? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, know the, you know how they have that fuck, kill, marry? Yeah. It'd be kill, kill, kill. <laughs> <laughs> but myself would be the third. It's coming off the CT episode, sir. Uh, little, I know. Little, I know. No, I don't. You have Dane Brown. I would. I would think that Aniston seems more mainstream. However, as crazy as Jolie is, all the, adopting all those children, that's awesome. Those children's lives are changed forever. I know it's a, you know, you say it's a one thing, but they still did it. They could have done nothing. Yeah, true. Right? You know, like, it's pretty amazing. True. So that's my thought on it. But I need your thoughts before I can finalize mine. What, what, who? I would pick Jennifer Aniston. I mean, Angelina Jolie wore that blood around her neck. I'm out. I'm yeah. out. I'm go I, no. Yeah. I, and no. kiss her brother and dad or something. Uh, like yeah. Just saying. I like the fact that George had John Voight's car. That's cool. But uh, <laughs> it's not John Voight. He's misspelled. I, I don't. You can't wear someone's blood around your neck, man. That's fucked up. So I'm out. You can drink out of a check check mug, though. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, Jennifer Aniston. Look at that. That's that's the perfect spot right there. So the point is, Jennifer Aniston has a superstition where she gets on an airplane, she must step onto the plane with her right foot first. 
Yeah. Which I was like, okay, that's uh, uh that's kind of weird. That's cool. Like the first step is like, she flop flips. Yes. You know? she She's flop a flop flips. flipper. She's a flop flipper. Yes. Right. So why do you think that was blowing your load, sir? Because just curious. She's hot. Okay. I and just wanted to say we're, <laughs> we're gonna post it's really these. not. Well, this is this is where I'm gonna counter because I'm gonna blow my load early with just the craziest one. Yeah, this one's fucked up, dude. This one I just we have to get it out of the way. I know. Right. I, I know we could, we wouldn't talk about it. But. I know we can end it, but no, we're gonna go with. Look. Yeah. We're gonna use the law of recency to wash to whitewash this away. This is like only the second one in. By the time we get to the 350th one and four hours in, yeah. we'll forget about this. Thank one. God. Right? Yeah. That's what that's what's good about. It. So I heard there's a there's an attractive young woman named Heidi Klum. Hi Hide Hide Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum? Klum? Heidi Klum? Yes. Is that it? That's the big winner there, check mark. Heidi Klum hey, sorry. Heidi Klum. Yes. Um at an appearance on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno in nineteen ninety eight. Heidi Klum admitted. Sorry, I put up the wrong <laughs> finger. I put up the wrong finger. I oh, put you up, put up the wrong okay. finger. Okay, it's this one. Uh, it's ladies and joins. One. Ladies and joins. My left hand was extended, and it's out of the shot of the camera, so it didn't look like this. Didn't have the effect of this. <laughs> admitted that she keeps a bag of her own. Her own. I thought it was her children's. No, her own baby teeth with her at all times. Quote, <laughs> air quote, I carry around a little bag of my teeth, she told the host. We don't have a tooth fairy in Germany, so I put them in a little bag. Little ones, big ones, those were like wisdom ones. I don't know if it's good luck. It's just a crazy thing that I do. Not did, do. She allegedly must lose and read furnish teeth like a shark. What? The, how does she keep losing? It's something that I do. Just carry around the bag, I guess, is what she still does. I don't know. Are you ready to throw up or what's going Can on? I tell you why that traumatizes me so much? Please. <sighs> I'm going to go lay on the couch, man. You just want to lay on the couch because it's comfortable. Yeah, that's true, too. I moved, behind us. I it's, moved it's, my mom in July. No, no. That way. That, that way. No, it's this way. That way, bro. It's this way, bro. Yeah, it's like there. there. It's like there. I moved my mom in July and, you know, unpacking all of her stuff and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. And she, uh, and she has a baby, uh, baby food jar like Ger Gerber, right? Yeah. But it's you know it's been, obviously it's been washed out. It's clean. There's yeah. no label on it. And inside, I'm like, Mom, what is this? She goes, Oh, those are your baby teeth. And I and she and I'm, I didn't say anything, but I wanted to throw up and run from the building screaming at the same time. Then she says, Do you want them? I was like, no. So they can identify. What, if, what do I have? Show mom? and tell at work on Monday? No, I don't fucking want them. What I like to show <laughs> is my teeth. They came out years ago. Mommy kept them in a jar, and now I have them for you. <laughs> Here you go. Here, teeth. Look what I have to show. It's Friday. Friday show and tell day. Oh, and everyone, back to your cubicles. Good job, <laughs> Peralta, you dipshit. Uh, we, he gets to wear the special hat, ladies and gentlemen. So as soon as I saw that tooth one with the Heidi Klum, I was reading that article, and I went, oh, fuck. You know what I'm really glad about? <laughs> that you made me laugh just now and get over it? Yes. <laughs> yes. But also that this red light's on. Me too. Because I was too. afraid I didn't start no, hitting I looked. record. Thank goodness for the Christopher. Thank goodness for Virgos. That's why I'm keep my hands away. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. I'm just All right, it's your turn. No, I know. It's my You're turn. Just, no, you did it. You're uh, just messing around, bro. Uh, next, good. the first, when we first. We're gonna, is, can we have some sausages? Can we get a little sausage fest going on? Uh, we always have a love fest, bro. Oh, so yeah, uh, the the first. Man crush. When time. I first, I find superstitions interesting. I don't, I don't know why, but the first person I thought of when I wrote this idea down and brought it up to you was Nomar. Garcia Parra, Garcia baseball Parra. player. Uh, sports people have, athletes have crazy superstitions. Like, oh my God, I got to do this on this day or do that on that day. Or if I don't, the uh, a asteroid will land on my face. Like, they're, they're like, they're fucking nuts. They're knocking futs for sure. They're t Both of them. They're, they're all four of them. So, uh, no more. He played with the Red Sox and the Dodgers. And he had a very, very strange 
routine but before every at bat i didn't know this he kisses the bat before he comes out of the the dugout and then he has to unzip un unvelcro his batting gloves and reattach them several times between every pitch and then before every pitch he like bounces the the toes of his feet into the dirt it's like he has a nervous disorder it's very strange so i read an article years ago about it and he said he just likes his batting gloves and his shoes very very snug so he as a kid adolescent he would always pull his gloves and pull his shoes so that they would be on the way he likes them and it developed into this he didn't say nervous disorder a tick. But it sure as hell looks like a fucking nervous disorder to me yeah. well but, it's like an ocd thing yeah it's it's very if you ever youtube nomar's one of his uh at bats it's like it's it's almost comical bring a stopwatch and a pillow <laughs> it's it's almost as good of a nap as curling let me just tell you that sir yes i am wide awake on two of the most boring well okay i think some people would argue they're they don't seem as interesting curling and sailing i love watching i do America's i Cup. do as well man i love the jig and they're like oh, yeah. they're cranking that thing up there and they're like oh. yeah and i do like that too the thing and yeah the tacking and the jiving and the jive talking yes <laughs> little bg action jive, j -j -j jive talking yes and, um i'm blowing my load again sir oh my thank god thank you for for sharing that because it is true that guy it's annoying i'm just gonna it's say it's fucking it. weird i hate to say it. i'm just annoyed by it because can we just fucking throw and hit the ball please can we just throw, can yeah, we let's just move throw the ball and move hit the ball let's go throw people it. can we just play baseball that's yeah. the whole point just get, put the along. ball into play let's go fucking let's go all right my load blowing number numero dos because they're all gonna be load blowing i think michael jordan i don't know if everyone knows this because i don't know who's listening but if you're younger I, I than, didn't know this till today. If you're younger than us, well, the whole thing though, if you're younger than us, back in the day, basketball player shorts were nut huggers. They were super <laughs> short and tight. I haven't heard like, that term in a long time. Super, they were toy, like a toyka. Super fucking short and tight. In comes Michael Jordan. They happen to be longer, a little bit longer for some reason. Why, might you ask? You gonna, you gonna ask? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I I was looking at the picture. Raise your hand. I'm sorry. Ooh, right, pick me. Clint. Oh, uh, uh, Christopher in the back. Uh, yeah, lounging why, in the back. Why were the shorts a little oh. longer when Michael Jordan came into the league? Because oh. he was hiding his undershorts. His undershorts. His undershorts were nut huggers, kind of, from his college oh. alma mater, the Tar Heels of De North Carolinas. Gotcha. That's so he weird. wore his North Carolina shorts underneath and. That trend, that started a trend because it's Michael effing Jordan. So, like, um, this guy's the best player and his shorts are a little longer. Now you notice, now they're, like, all the way down to, like, they're like culottes They're now. man priests. They're like culottes. Yes. For sure. And, yeah, seriously. So, thank you, Michael Jordan. But he, he started the trend. Pretty cool. Right? That's pretty interesting. Yeah. I like that he started a fashion trend in the NBA for his superstition. Yeah. He wore his old shorts under for good luck i dig it pretty cool right what you got next bro uh i got a guy i've never heard of but i like the superstition a lot turk wendell oh yeah he was a pitcher for the mets of new york of course we go to queens and he started the superstition of leaping over the baseline when he walked out to the mound to pitch and now you will see a lot of pitchers will do that. Hopping over the they foul. Will, they will not walk on the white chalk line. Yeah, the foul, fair foul the line. Fair the fair foul, foul line, line correct. Yeah, the fa it's the called foul, foul line. line. As they walk to, to or from the mound, many pitchers will purposely not walk on that because they think it's bad luck. And this dude started it. I was like, holy shit, I had, had no idea. That's wow. so cool that he started the superstition. Right. Like... Yeah, who's the first person to throw salt over their shoulder? Or yeah, some bullshit, right. Right. That's a like, good one. we didn't even talk about anything because we didn't get into personal superstitions. Right. It was we all talk, sports we might, and celebrities. We might do that, but I'll be we honest. Should. I did. I started polling. I thought we were gonna poll, and 
nobody really has superstitions. They uh, know I of the, them. I do the salt. You one. know, what we could do is the old. We could do that. We could do like a list of just old wives' the, tales. Yeah, you know, the ladder and the weird stuff. But actually, some people actually have some superstitions that are one of those traditional ones. But that's a good one. Like, yeah, he invented. He initiated the jumping over the foul line on both. Yeah, I, I see it all the time with pitchers. They, you know, if they t- like, they don't. Some drag their foot. Somebody drags their foot through it. They like to to scoff at it. Like it's like that's oh, their superstition. Yeah. They go and they drag their. I think they drag their cleat through it as like a thing, like a dra- like a toe drag. But it's cool. I think it's cool because it, they wouldn't do that if the first one wasn't initiated. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like yes, this guy invented it. Yeah. Can you give his name again? Because that was a cool Turk Wendell. Ooh, Turk Wendell. All right, sir. I like it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm trying to stay a little diverse. Yeah. In, in our both our both our uh, gender and our um, career or yeah. career path. So I'm gonna go with an actor. Goes by the name of Lucille Ball, my friend. Little known, I love Lucy fame. Of course. On the day that three-year-old Lucille's ball's father died, a bird flew into her home and became trapped. Traumatized by the events, she developed a lifelong avian aversion. <laughs> Good use of the correct hand, sir. Avian aversion. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I, I actually tie. I actually duct taped my left hand down there. So oh, good I can't job. Lift it up anymore. And I, I put a I put a ribbon on it, but then I forgot what the what the ribbon oh, was. Oh no! Is that the worst? So the actor even refused to stay in hotels that had pictures of birds on the walls. That's fucking, how cool. That's how. That's crazy, dude. I could see it though. She was three. Her yeah, dad dies, yeah, and a bird no, like I get that. you connected directly to like nature, right? Oh my gosh, that's you're gonna do that one, right? Because you like yeah. that one, okay? Um, but um, yeah, how crazy is that one, right? It's fucking nuts. It's nuck and futz. It's like we said. All right, so you you go ahead, whenever, wherever you want to do. Um, and so we begin with the P. Urine. <laughs> I wasn't even going to touch any of those. Yeah, I this talk one, this so much one, about urine. I don't need to This one is pro- it may be one of my favorites. Okay. Uh, Moises Alou. Moises Alou. Which my friend Carlos calls him Moistness Alou. Moist. Well, it's uh, a he, disgusting term. He played for the Giants and some other teams in the, in the MLB, you know, in the 80s. And I think his kids played later on, too. So he would pee on his hands and i'm trying to find the article as to why he did it i think it was to playing baseball before the game he'd pee on his hands okay to like toughen them or so that he would get a better grip on the bat or something to that effect so pee and not wash he i don't know if he washed or not i can't find the articles but my ipad's freaking the fuck out was was pine tar not a yet? Uh, I don't know, bro. Okay, I'm trying to find. I'm, I'm trying just to find messing around. Okay, that's, so he would pee on his hands. Uh, wow. So what's funny? What's the part why I bring this up is because his teammates found obviously found out about it, right? Yeah. So they who, ref- who wouldn't have found out right? About so that? they refused to high five him. So what refused. happened was they the high five changed into the here. Turn face me. They turned the elbow thing? Oh, the, no, the, oh, the, oh, the, the forearm. That's the, the that's forearm. a huge baseball move. Right, the right. forearm was invented by his teammates. That is beautiful. because they refused to high five him because he they peed on to, his hands. But he was he was a good player, he was so a good you player. needed to salute him with the that I you know you see that all the time now. That's so prevalent. So he invented that, or he, they well, invented that. The, yeah, because what they wanted the Giants, San Francisco Giants, the stupid Giants. Wow, you didn't really have to go there. You have to go down that fucking deep, dark hole. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry that I asked who. However, for medical clarification, doctors say urinating on your hands doesn't harden them. It softens them. So if you're all the baseball people out there, don't pee on your hands. For further clarification, <laughs> just don't fucking pee on your hands. <laughs> it's like... Uh, Regardless of if it makes you turn into the Hulk for for one inning, um, that's right? funny, man. That's that's hilarious. All right, don't be in your hands. Uh, I don't. What do you got, bro? I got one for you. Yes. If you want to be my lover, yeah, you got to get with my friends. 
I'm going to do this one just because I, you know, because you like the Spice Girls. And, yeah, and Who's I'm your spir- favorite Spice I'm Girl. A spiritual of this one, of course, she's the hottest one of all. I so do, don't. Even, there's four or five of them. There's. <sighs> Could you name them all? Shit. So are she's they posh. like the dwarves? Okay, you can name more dwarves than I could probably name. Well, obviously there's less. I can name less four Spice, Girl Spice than, Girls. Okay, there's well, there's Sporty. Okay, Baby. Yeah. Posh. Yeah. Ginger. Ginger. Isn't there a fifth one? Hori. <laughs> I thought she was just slutty. Ah, slutty spice. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me. Don't. don't. No, I thought it was cinnamon. No, no, no. It was a uh, kosher sea salt. Yeah, those are strippers, spice. bro. Here we are. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get the names right. Well, there's the member. So there are one, two, three, four. Five. Do you want to give it one more shot? There's only four? Then we there's got five. Oh. No, there's five. five. Uh, sporty. Who are? Ginger. Oh. Baby. Posh. Posh. And that other one. And the black slutty. one. Slutty. No. The black one. No. Isn't that sporty? Isn't sporty the one with the sports bra with the, the brunette with her ponytail? That's the one that we're not talking about. She's the least engaging of them. I need to know Spice Girl members. Where are they? Spice now? Girl names. Yeah, who were the Spice Girls? Okay, we got. Oh, here we go. Ginger, Ginger sporty, sporty, posh, scary, baby. Scary, scary. scary. Told you. <laughs> Chris is scared. Yeah. Okay. So once again, Ginger, sporty, posh, scary. So baby. baby's the worst, right? I think baby. Is the worst the little blonde ding dong? Prob- probably, 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 and sporty. I don't like sporty much. Yeah, so posh I like scary. Is the hottest, yeah, I think posh is hottest. This is the I worst like podcast we've ever redhead. done. No, man, we're talking Spice Girls. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, can you guys like tell it? Well, actually, the people that want the like follow them are our age now. So yeah, hey, you, how's how's your four hundred one k looking, ladies <laughs> <laughs> and gentlemen who loved the Spice Girls back in two thousand um, ninety nine? No, okay, so it's posh. It's Ms. Beckham. Yes, correct. Victoria. What was her f- name before? I don't Beckham. remember. Beckham. Yeah, sure. <laughs> she la- her superstition is crystals. Crystals. Why is that a superstition? Former Spice Girls star and fashion mogul Victoria Beckham believes in the power and energy of crystals. I'm a very spiritual person. I'll travel with my crystals. I've got all different colors. It's just something that I'm into. She told Us Weekly in 2011. Recently, Beckham went as far to incorporate crystals into her pre-fall fashion line, designing pants with special pockets for crystal carrying. That's pretty awesome. Crystal pants. Good job, Victoria. And then, and then strippers named Crystal will take them off. <laughs> uh, y- yes. I'm just saying. All right. Well, there, there's we, Posh is Posh is both of our favorites. She's she's gorgeous. Yeah, she's just absolutely st- stunning. She's she's like the Elizabeth Hurley of other British people. She's almost as hot as her husband. Almost, yeah. I mean, but, he's the hottest for sure. But he can of bend all the Spice it. Girls, David Beckham's the hottest. He can bend it though, <laughs> and I think it just naturally probably. Oh yeah, it's definitely it probably just probably. Um, if you uh, hello to hello, the world, David if you Beckham? know if you know posh spice, can you ask if it bends this way or which way? Can you it give bend? David Does Beckham he bend my number, like Beckham? <laughs> what if it did? Okay, enough. <laughs> 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 we got a snort, ladies and gentlemen. We've, ca- <laughs> we've captured a snort. I like when we have like fun ones oh, after the shit. serious ones because we really fucking let loose. Oh fuck! We just tearing at everybody, man. Because the stupid beautiful. Spice Girls. Yeah, we love all of them. And just by the way, all of them are scary to me. Okay. Because they're they're like real women, and I didn't know what to do with my body at that time. Okay. I think I was still a virgin. Okay. Possibly. No. Yeah. Okay, let's not do dates, bro. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, Let's Lex. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Lex, nup. <laughs> Next up is former Louisiana State football coach Les Miles, now the coach of the Rock Chop Kansas Jayhawks. He eats grass before every game. What? Does he have a digestive problem? I have a little tradition that humbles me as a man. 
that lets me know that I'm part of the field and part of the game. That's ridiculous. Can you you say it one more time? Who is it? Tiger Stadium tastes the best. I have a little tradition that humbles me as a man that lets me know that I'm part of the field and part of the game. Whatever. That's ridiculous. Everyone's okay. different. No, it's totally you know cool. I, mean? I, I think it's awesome. Honestly, if you aren't humbled after eating grass and forcing yourself to eat it, I don't know what will humble you, boys and girls. I don't know. You got nothing? I got I, Yo Tango. Nada. Nada, my friend. Um, are you ready? Yes. I, I said, are you ready? Uh, yes. I would like to share a composer by the name of Gustav Mahler. Do you remember? 1860 to 1911. I'm going to guess that or Austrian. Okay. You know. Austro-Hungarian? Yeah, probably. He thought he could cheat death by not naming his ninth symphony by number. This was because several composers, including Beethoven. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Beethoven. Right? Be excellent to each other. Um, Beethoven and Schubert had died after completing their ninth symphonies. So Mahler called his ninth the Song of the Earth, and it worked, in a sense. He lived long enough to write most of his tenth symphony, though he died before it was performed. Well, shit, poor well, guy. Well, shit. Well, he made it longer. Maybe he needs to like not, na- not write a ninth one. Maybe write the tenth one and just skip the ninth one altogether. Yeah. I like what you're saying. You should be his agent. Or maybe his ninth one should just be a fucking shitty pop song. <laughs> yeah, It'll like, be. It's Friday. It's Friday. Did he write for the Spice Girls? Uh, yeah, if you want to be my love, actually, I think he did. Yeah. Me, me, my friend. Me, 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 me. Spice World, whatever the word is. Da, 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 da. Your turn, sir. Go, go, sir. It's your motherfucking turn. It's back on the P train. P train. Oh woo, man. All woo, aboard. Woo, all P train. I, okay. Did anyone? See, did you see my t- the the one where the guy wore a T-shirt and it says IP in pools? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. No, I'm a, you put I, the pee I in know. pools. I am a oh, perfectionist. Yes. Remember, I have ideas for Toyota. Yeah. Kingsford. Charcoal. Yes. And I think another company. I forget which one it is, but it'll come to me because I'm a little, just a little, you know. Relaxed. Slow on the uptake? I'm relaxing today. Okay. Um, but um, I know all these things, and I want to share them with the world, but I don't want to lose it. I want to get business. So Toyota. Should Toyota and Kingsford definitely need to reach out to me? Yeah, for sure. And but in this case, you should tweet them. Um, I'm always a perfectionist. Some person had a T-shirt that reads "IP in pools." That's not funny. IP in pools is funny. Is just douchey. No, it's funny. The the line should be "I put the P in pools." That's even because that's, that's hilarious. Yeah, that is I, the I, joke. I agree. I put the P in pools. It's like I put the fun in funeral. Right, like, <laughs> or dysfunction, right? Yes. Like, that's the joke. Just saying, you pee in pools just makes you a douchebag. I'm just, I'm just saying, it makes you a four co- pop collar motherfucker. Oh no! Does. Come on, Chad, don't say that. Todd, Kyle, the Eddie, Vinny, and Tom. <laughs> All right, please, please, it's your uh, turn. Oh, uh, sorry. I, Good job. Once again, uh, one more, uh, more back to the peeing. Once again. What, oh, yeah, that's right. We're back in peeing. Back on the pee train. Barry Fry was the manager of the English football club Birmingham City. In that time, he started doing something strange. Believing there, will e- <laughs> believing there were evil spirits in their home grounds of St. Andrews, Fry went to all four corners of the field and peed on them. This act was done to ward off evil spirits. But it attracted raccoons. <laughs> it's unclear how often he did this, but it was probably more than once. Fry's efforts did little to help Birmingham City or himself. The team eventually started losing games, and Fry was relieved of his duties. <laughs> You're fucking kidding. Oh, that's the best one. That one wins. Just. For the turn of phrase, I don't think they meant to. No, do they that, did. I bet they did. But I, that's that is genius journalism. That's, that is genius journalism. Right down <laughs> in that area, right there, right down there, it's genius. Oh, it's so funny. It is. Oh my god, it's genius. That was genius, sir. Oh my god, it was so funny. 
Thank you for sharing that. That was beautiful. <laughs> Relieved of his duties. And it's funny because he didn't shit in every corner. Uh, so how could he have been relieved duties. of his duties? Oh, God. How could he be been relieved of his duties if he didn't shit in every corner? He only pissed in them. All right. Well, that's pretty shitty. <laughs> or pissy. I'm going to go with an, another alpha by the name of Brian Urlacher. That's an amazing haircut. He has, he's got we the woodsy. We have the same barber. He's got the woodsy. I like, I like on Twitter when, uh, when people tweet stuff and you want to give them like an applause and you find somebody and it's such a good tweet that you give them the Putin and it's Putin's clapping. Oh like, yeah. Or the Vanderbeek. I like, I like the Vanderbeek one. Okay. So like when someone says something, I'm like, well said, you've earned the Putin. <laughs> and you're like, I'm for too looking for this, please. Put my hands <laughs> together. Um, Brian Urlacher is a Chicago, was a Chicago bear, I think his whole life. Did you ever hear the Onion story about Brian Urlacher? No. Are you familiar with the Onion? I mean, yeah, it's the thing that Not I the thing put, you on my put on my grill. Yes. And the green ones I put in my, <laughs> my salsa. www.onion.com, I hope. But the Onion is like a fake literature, like a fake oh, yes. news journalist thing. Yeah. But it's like spoofy, right? Yeah. Okay, the website. Yes. Not the vegetable. Yes, the website. Okay. Not, or the or the the periodical. I don't even know what it is anymore. And once again, I'm out of frame on the air quote, but there I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> peri peri the laser. Um, anyway, um, what Urlacher did, uh, they did a thing on him when he retired. They did a spoof story that he, he joined the NFL as a Green Bay Packer for one day so he could retire as a winning Green Bay Packer because <laughs> the Bears are all losers. And oh. there's actually a the, you know, NESN is Northeast yeah, uh, Sports Network, yes, right? Yes, it is, yeah. They picked up on the story, and they actually uh, ran with it, and it was on the crawl. You mean like... Like, Urlacher signs one-day deal with Green Bay they Packers. They thought it was real. They thought it was real. Literally, uh, Urlacher signs one-day deal with Green Bay Packers, said he didn't want to retire a loser. So, like, they actually, like, quoted that the whole amazing. thing. That is amazing. It is amazing. So, anyway... Uh, what I need to do is get back to that because I'm going to look while this is going on. Okay. Nesson. Uh, Nesson. But I'll get to it in a second. Fake news is real news. Yeah. Uh, anyway. If I'll, you we'll, want to be we'll my lover, it. you got to be with my ring. Oh, wow, that's like stuck in your head. Hashtag. So here it is. He ate, he ate two chocolate chip cookies before every game. Bears all-pro linebacker Brian Urlacher is a finely tuned machine made up of muscle and instincts. And cookie, 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 cookie. eat them up. See, it's for cookie. That's good cookie enough for me. Did we both rock that. That's a, that deserves a high five that I we missed I do love on. some cookie monster metal. It would be fair to call him the cookie monster of, of the, the midway. midway. Very well done. I didn't even read Ooh. that. Urlacher will eat two chocolate chip cookies before every game. Eat your heart out, Gatorade. Gatorade. That sounds stupid. What's the big fucking deal, me, bitch? Me. All right, that was uh, once again. That was Brian Erlocker. Who you got, bro? Jason Jombie. Oh, you are loving these baseball fucks. I'm going all over the place, Well, that's because he wears well, a thong, dude. It's called diversity. He wears a thong gooey. Who? Jason Giambi, Giambi started yeah. wearing a gold thong under his uniform in his slump that ended long, not long after other teammates cut wind of it. <laughs> because it stank. <laughs> and they've also used the thong in order to in a skid at the plate. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking great, man. Johnny Damon believed the thong works because, quote, you're not worrying about your hands or your balance at the plate. You're worried about the uncomfortable feeling you're receiving. I'm worried huh. about the uncomfortable feeling I'm receiving right now. Doesn't that mess you up, though? I, I don't know, bro. I feel like that messes you up, bro. Uh, I, I think it's. What are your thoughts? On I this? think it's about the um. What the hell's a fucking movie? Bull Durham, when he was wearing the garters, he goes oh, yeah. and he's breathing out of his eyelids like when, a lava lizard. You mean when that stupid Shawshank fucker's doing <laughs> it? Isn't that the fucker yes, that's wearing them? His name is Nuke Bitch. Lelouch, the Whatever. pitcher, and he wore his his girlfriend 
and he made a he said you should wear these garters when you're on the road and on uh, when you're on the mound and remind you of me and he wore them and he's like this doesn't make me gay does it no 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 he's wearing a motley crew shirt and a jock and these women, these women's <laughs> garter belts and then oh, uh man. kevin costner comes up and goes hey those are hot and slaps him in the butt and then he turns around and he goes hey man flower goes in the front big guy turns him over it's fucking hysterical <laughs> love that shit <laughs> I, I wish he didn't make Shawshank. I just wish it wasn't. Do you want me to keep going before you find that article? No, but I did. There's con confirmation that did happen. So uh, I believed you, bro. Yeah, I know. I know. I just wanted to confirm because I wanted. I might put that up too because it's a really funny article. So basically, they the bear fall bear fans fall for satirical onion article. Oh, maybe that's a different one. That's Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler pays a price. Maybe it is. Uh, I don't know. Jay Cutler's weird. I'm not going to go into this. Anyway, next. Oh, is it my turn? Yes, it is. Am I yelling at myself? Sure. I like, I like, I like the thong from Jason. Have you ever heard of the Philadelphia? Like, I do this a lot now. I got to stop. Uh, the curse. Uh, it's like the curse of the brother of the famous player of the good player. No. Like Philadelphia got Jeremy Giambi. Yes. Philadelphia got like. Uh, I think Roger Maris had a brother, or Mattingly, or somebody had a brother. Uh, maybe Garrick or one of them had like a brother and it's like all these brothers, all the Philadelphia teams had all the brothers of like the really good players. It's kind of funny. I'll have to, I'll have to look that up. Yeah, that would be too. interesting. Yeah, it was an interesting one. There was like maybe maybe a handful of them. So um, I like to stay in the sports world. I like to go with the the sport that I believe has a CTEI of one. <laughs> <laughs> If you listen to last week's episode, boys and girls, we did uh, a thing on the CTE, and this has a CTEI, which is a CTE index of one, meaning is the lowest impact for your brain to get scrambled. Um, we're going to go to tennis and Serena Williams. There's actually two with Serena Williams. That's what's really interesting about her because she does – oh, Per her interview with Daily Mail, Serena Williams is extremely superstitious when it comes to her career. The tennis star brings shower sandals to the court, wears the same pair of socks throughout a tournament run, throughout a tournament run, not a game. Correct. Not a game. It could be weeks. Not a no. We're talking about practice. Oh, dear. Shut up. We talk we talking practice. Not a game. Playoffs. Playoffs. We talking practice. No, not a game. Not a game. We talking about a tournament. In a tournament run. Ties her shoes in a specific way and bounces the ball exactly five times before her first serve. Five times. Five times. No, 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 19. No, 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 19. So how about that? That seems strange, bro, with, with the with the all tournament, with the same the clothing. Socks. I mean, well, let's just socks. Just, no, I mean, I mean like, changes. let's just say it was the same shirt, same socks, same whatever. Like, please tell me you're washing those. Yeah. That's gross. What? No, I don't I don't think it's not washed. I think it's just the same. Now, I, I can see to that. May, may I May I? Of course. bring, like, a, a yeah, spiritual please. philosophy to it? I love that. Or some kind of weird thing? Think about it like this. You put on your shirt, and you win the first round. The energy of the win, you could say, is like on you, right? It's like in your stuff. So I would wear this. You know what I mean? Like you carry that energy. Then you win the next round. Now, obviously, you have skill. This is why you win. But that they're that little kind of invisible belief, that yes. intangible. Oh yeah, the energy of the of the of the tournament of all my wins is. It's kind of like Highlander. You know, as, as you slice people's heads off more and more, you get more and more powerful because you're you're getting oh. all the energies of that person's head. Whoa. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of all people that that guy's head took uh, took their head off. Which, by the way, Highlander may be on the uh, laser disc of the day. Soon. I, saw I that. almost had it. I watched Harley last night, but um, Har uh, not Harley Quinn, but Harley Davidson. The Marvel I was gonna Man. say what? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Harley Quinn. Uh, the Birds of Prey is on laser disc, sir. It's just been released. Um. What, what are we talking about, Twitter world? Um, the energy of this shirt. Like, <laughs> I like how so you I lost yourself. Like, you know what? You know what it was? I got knocked out 
and then that pu- the second punch came in and it woke me back up where I'm like, oh, I'm good. You know, have you, you ever seen that shit happen? Knocked conscious. Yeah, I was not conscious. Have you ever seen Have you ever seen somebody get knocked conscious? Yeah, it happened to me like guys two fight. hours ago. He went boom. Guy's like on his way down. As he goes down, he hits him and then he's like, oh, cool, I'm good. And he like wakes him back up. Like it re-shakes his head. Like it reset all of a sudden. But anyway, I'm t- I totally get it. And I think athlete superstition makes sense because I think it's routine. I think that's what it is more than it is superstition, just so you know. But uh, it's your turn, so get on it and stop looking at your phone. I'm trying start to start find the screen, some shit. bro. I'm addicted, bro. Here, do you want? No, you I'm want? good. Wade Boggs. Oh, you, you baseball prick. Did I steal Wade Boggs from no, you? No, I don't fucking care I'm about gonna baseball. Steal, I'm going to steal a hockey from you up next, bro. Good. A hockey. Eh? I'm keeping this one for you. Wade Boggs, also part. known as the Chicken Man. Uh, everyone just said delete just now, yeah, bro. Um, we're uh, no longer streaming. He eats chicken before every game. Oh, yeah. He always takes batting practice at 517, and he runs sprints at 717, and he draws the word chai... In the dirt before coming up at bat. Chai means life. You mean X I? C it's H it's Chi. A I. It's Chi. I'm oh, so chai. sorry. Well chai, that it's sounds like chai, chai tea. tea. It's chai he gets, right, it is chai he gets tea. a chai tea before dinner. No. He gets a green he chai tea. Chai tea. Yeah, but I thought chi was your energy, because that's when you steal it's my chi. Hebrew for life, bro. I don't know how to say it. Chai? Oh, chai. I don't know, man. Okay. I just wanted to ask him the question. I, look, we do not have baseball in, in the Czech Republic, right? so we know not about this Boggs of Wade. Who is this guy? Uh, is he, he, was like Yankee, he was a Yankee. He was a Red Sox. Does Wade Boggs have going on? Yes, it's all going on, just like Stacy's mom, but different. You wearing your contacts? What about Jesse's girl? Yes. Perhaps, perhaps I put on contacts because we are in video mode, sir. Oh, I like your glasses. Yeah. No, no, because gla- with the angle, like I look like a total <laughs> I like nerd how you went face. From check mark to mark, like boom. Yeah, I got serious for a second. You don't want to see these glasses at an angle. Oh, shit. That's Hello. Funny. Oh, God. Hello. Okay. Um, so Wade Boggs eat chicken. So what's the 17 after the hour? I don't know. Did, it doesn't did say. It not? That's weird. It just means you not tell crazy. Me? How do you not do further research, sir? Because I didn't care anymore. It's beer Googles. We're just good drink. I didn't, we took another shot. That's I don't why. care anymore, bro. Isn't it funny shot. that Jess asked us? She she was wondering if, hey, do you guys drink? Oh, yeah, you do a podcast called Beer Googles. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys fucking drink. <laughs> pretty sure. Pretty sure we drink. And don't call her Jessica. It's called Beer Googles. Have you not heard the clinking going on, Jessica? Oh, my God. I have not seen the clinking going on with her. Tequila, we don't, tequila helmet guy. Where's our? We got our shot glasses. Wa- are, bro. Skull Waka. We we took. We kind of wash them every once in a while. Alcohol oh, doesn't kill everything. Fungi. No, no fungi. I promise. Okay. Well, I need another drink. Yeah, you do. But it's a different kind of drink. But I really think that's interesting. I'm curious about the 17 after. Not that it's 517 or 717. I'm curious why though. Yeah, the 17 has why. to have some sort of significance. It must. And yeah. I, I don't know why. Are you going to do Taylor Swift eventually? Is she on the list? Why you got to be a dick, bro? Why you got to blow that load? I, I'm. You can do it if you want. No, I don't want to. I'm just making sure that you will. Yes, I okay, will do fuck. T-Swizz. T-Swizzle. I, mean, I was going to close it on T-Swizz. Okay, that's now totally I, fine. Now I have to zag when you think I'm no, going to zig everybody. No, I just want to make sure you don't forget her. Why would I not? Why would I forget her? Okay. She's unforgettable. When she's... Mm, 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 not saying... No, I don't need 12-year-olds tweeting at me. Okay. <laughs> angrily. Very, very Dang. angrily. No. Very angrily. Oh, you know what we should do? Check this out. We're gonna we're gonna try something. What was that? So I'm going to record something. See if this works. Why is this not working? It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> hey, we unplug it. Oh my god, it's not working. That's oh, it's, that's why it's not working. Oh, hey, let me see that. Hey, no, I got it. Let me I can see. fix it. No, what? What? Oh, hey. I wonder what? why it's not working. Why don't you get a little bit better, bro, about like holding it up here? Throw it up here. Go, go, go close. Look. Okay. Hey, hey, T Rex. Let's go. <laughs> Look, okay. So the dongle wasn't dongled. Okay. Was My bad. Undongled. I undongled the dongle. So let me re dongle the dongle because as we've uh, 
shared with you. Gone right? sideways. I gotta look for the plug. I gotta look for the hole because, like, Whoa. sometimes you push, sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you close your eyes, sir. It's gonna be super bright for the first time until I turn it down. All right. Oh boy, that's really bright. Oh boy. Okay, so there we are. Colors like yeah, we can change blue, the colors. Red. Yeah, no colors, but it's gonna be natural. Can you like uh, watch, watch. You rainbows be, and shit? I can make a hat. I can make a pterodactyl. A brooch. I can do it this way. So it's gonna be those three. So it's like a whitey, like, like a coolie. I like that's too warm. Uh, I like that one the best because okay, it is the fun. most natural. Sure. Do you want to be whitewashed I like don't that? Give a fuck, I dude. feel like we're playing, bro. Put, yeah, there they're your favorites. And then. I think we gotta go. We gotta go up one, one more. There we go. Okay. And now we're now we're now we're good. Are okay, you happy? This cable's touching your mouse, though, bro. We we're touching. Oh my god, no touching. Um. Uh. So we're talking about another person. Yes. Or are we done? You, John Do we Wayne, dongle bro. To the dongle? John Wayne, sir. Another actor. Whoa, well, howdy, pilgrim. Although John Wayne often wore a hat on his head in his films, his temper would flare. If anyone left a hat on top of a bed. What the fuck? This is a head tilt moment. I head turn to you. Yes. What the fuck? I know. That's a W2F moment. Whoa. We should have retitled W2F on this one. According to his daughter, Wayne was deeply superstitious and subscribed to the not uncommon fear that a hat on a bed was a harbinger of bad luck. Harbinger, sir. Not harbinger of sorrow. No. Harbinger. Of bad luck. Of luck that is not pleasant. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How about that? Totally. Yeah. Do you believe in that? What? Do you believe in things that are, oh my God, there's a hat on no. the bed. No. Should I not walk under this the ladder? The upside down, the upside down bullshit with the, with the uh, good luck, tr or the horseshoe yeah. and the breaking a mirror. No. Yeah. No. Or cats, black cats. Nope. No, you don't think not so? Not a single one. Why not? It's salt over the shoulder? No. But pepper over the shoulder. I think pepper needs... I think paprika, maybe. Yeah. Salt I, over the left, if paprika it's kosher, over the right? Well, if it's kosher, sea salt, possibly. Celtic, okay. maybe Himalayan pink, pink Himalayan. Yes, my favorite. Pink, pink. All the sea salts. Himalayan the Himalayan's salt. my favorite. Yeah, it is my favorite, too. Yeah. Um, what about you? Do you do you subscribe? You could. I'm, I don't judge people who I do. I appreciate you not judging. Um, Why would I judge? No judging. I, I, I do do I, want, I do though. throw the salt over my shoulder. That doesn't mean yeah, but that's I think it's tradition. I don't think it's Yeah, I, I don't luck. give a shit about cats. Fuck well, fuck cats. Well you don't like cats. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, and there is a black cat that roams the neighborhood, by the way. Like I see they if little fucker walks on my wall and I see him in my driveway and you know, like that explains in, your life, I guess. He's it. in everyone's driveway, so I don't fucking care. Um, but I don't give a fuck about ladders and that you know. I would yeah. be interested to see where those come from. You know, one one I won't do. Yeah. I mean, one I will definitely avoid, but it's not superstition. It's just uncouth, I guess. Walking over a grave. Yeah, it's respect. I yeah, I wouldn't step. That's just skeevy, too. Like, it yeah. seems, I, to your point, it's not courteous. That's right. somebody's grandma. That's right. somebody's whatever. Right. Like, but even, don't even be past dick. that, it just seems skeevy in general to walk over, like, a dead body. And Anyway, it just seems weird. I but would, you're right. I agree. I think it's your turn. Oh, shit. Is Patrick not, uh, Roy. I mean, Wah. Uh, Roy, yeah. Roy. Oh, you you did steal that print. No, I know, because I, I did watch a lot of hockey in his heyday. He uh, is very good. Because uh, my college roommate was a big fan of his, which meant I was a big fan of his, because we used to go to the firehouse in Little Prescott and watch Friday night hockey night and nice. eat, drink beer, and eat wings and shit. That's when it was like on ESPN, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then it they was hockey night in Canada broadcast down here. Uh, perhaps yeah. the best goaltender in history Patrick Roy or Wah is the correct pronunciation was a firm believer in the power of superstition before every game he would skate backwards towards the net before turning around at the last second an act he believed made the goal shrink during the game he would converse with the posts thanking them when a puck was deflected and often touching them the most spiritual relationship was with his goal earned him the nickname St. Patrick. <sighs> there you go. He talked to the goal, bro. Bro, I've kissed I've kissed a goal post before. You have? Well, like you know, it's just it's more tradition thing. It wasn't like you saved me because it, it was inanimate. So Oh right. Inanimate. I like to think that my angle that I took to the player caused the player to try to take a bigger angle to try to beat me, and therefore the 
the shot on the post was because I played, I still played it well. I would believe that the, the physics correctly. that you're discussing sounds a lot more logical than anything else. That's how I, that's how I roll, sir. Yeah, I think that's correct. All right. Well, we've got a lot more and I love it. This <sighs> is, this has been, this has been fun actually. It is kind of cool though. All the different superstitions. Yes. Like, Cause we mentioned the, the basic ones and there's a couple that did do basic ones and I'm probably going to lump them together just cause that's it's like, cool. yeah, cause they're just that. boring ones. But, um, this next one I find interesting if i may please lady gaga of all people gaga pop 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 paparazzi <laughs> poker face f -f -f face <laughs> t -t -t telephone they all sound different i know i get it it's hard to it's very easy to distinguish a lady gaga song from another she believed that pr promiscuity drains creativity Famed for her over-the-top eye for creativity, it's no wonder why Lady Gaga is a little overprotective of her dot, dot, dot gift. I would have said dot, dot, dot treasure or just vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, to the treehouse. Welcome to the treehouse, ladies and gentlemen. No. <laughs> uh, in quotes, I have this weird thing that if I sleep with someone, they're going to take my creativity from me through my vagina. Look at that. She told Vanity Fair in 2010. And you know, that's funny. And kind of oddly, like, I, I wouldn't, I could see people like stealing your chi. Yes, Same, stealing your energy. They talk about that all the time. Yeah. I could totally see that. I could totally see that being a feel. Like, you could sense that. What if she's like an empath and that does happen on like even the littlest scale and all the dudes she bangs, you know, she could just all take a little piece. That would suck. Yeah. That would suck. Who would come up with pup, 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 poker face, pup, pup, poker face if, if she, she banged everybody all the time? Oh, my God. That's fucking totally true. Who would come up with, with Madonna knockoff songs? You, I, I, if, I don't you know, know who'd man. be creative enough to re Madonna themselves. Do you, do you know what I'm saying here? This is genius. I agree completely. You, you're onto a theory that, sir, fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's your turn, man. Yes. I think, I think I need to go. Yeah, bye. I need to go. Jason Terry now. of the Dallas Mavericks oh, likes to sleep you. in the pajamas of the team he's going to play the next day. What? You didn't lead with that? And that might be the best they must one. be authentic game day shorts. They can't be like the ones the fans buy. They got to be real and shit. Okay, so he wears the jer like the full jersey, the shorts, the Just socks? Just the shorts. Short oh, not the shirt. The jersey, like the top, the tank top. Or he like likes to sleep in his opponent's shorts. Oh, shorts. It'd be funny if like he called, like they're playing... Uh, they're playing like LA and he's like, Hey LeBron, I need your shorts because I need to <laughs> I need to sleep. No, no, no. I need to sleep in your yes, shorts. Yeah. Like your shorts. Give me your not, shorts, bro. Not not the team shorts. Yours. Yeah, yeah, give me yours, LeBron. Yeah. Did you ever Okay. Side tangent, speaking of shorts and basketball? Yeah. So they had to be the authentic thing. Like Mitchell and Ness style. Not this bullshit. Right. Right. Okay. Do you remember the, the I know you don't listen to rap? But you do know you do know it exists, correct? I don't. What, what is this you're okay. talking about? There's this. There's things set to a beat, with possible music background and possible rhyming words. Okay. In repetitive nature, or in actually in a very free flow nature at times. Okay. It's, and it and it all compiles generally to tell a story or something, from okay. what I've heard. Sure. So there's this gentleman named Macklemore, Macklemore, and he did a he did a song called Thrift Shop. I remember an interview with him and they asked what's the weirdest thing you found at a thrift shop and i guess he's up from the seattle area he said he f he found a pair of shorts uh boxers signed by sean kemp from the seattle supersonics and he paid it's eight underwear bucks for them. under the boxers like silk boxers. underwear underwear signed by sean kemp. it had sean kemp's signature on well it had sean kemp on it and it was signed so he, he they assumed it was just his. It was Sean Kemp signed like yeah. silky underwear for like eight bucks. And didn't Sean Kemp like father like eighty two children that he knows of? What? Plus, like, yeah, I didn't. Sean I know Sean like, Kemp. I mean, yeah, but I didn't know he has a. I didn't know he had a problem with you know, a brood of children. 
That's not really. Uh, he started the brood, I think. Did he? Mm. Is that what this thing? Yeah, uh, I think. Is it my turn or your turn? Uh, I'll go. I don't give a shit. Yeah, you can go, bro. I'm excited. Uh, apparently, in 1988, during the World Cup, a French player, Lorette Blanc, got in the habit of kissing his bald goalkeeper on his sexy head oh. for good luck. Bro, I need to do that before we start every you podcast. Should, bro. Do you wash your head? Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? That's what the shower's for. No, I wash everything well, but my I head. I need a pre-wiped. I need a wet wipe right before. No, I need, of like, course a little I wash my head. What kind okay. of question is that? <laughs> somebody Sorry. did it. Somebody asked me a couple years ago, do you shampoo? Like, on what? Like, I don't have any fucking hair. Yes. But you <laughs> so, beard. What about your beard? I, I definitely use soft. shampoo and conditioner. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> Fuck, I use a fucking bar of soap. Sean Kemp, go. I, I, I'm looking to look at the number, and the number here says you seven won't believe, kids. but this says two. This go is wrong. Go back to the last screen. It said seven kids with six girls. Okay, there it is. Seven, seven kids with six girls. With six women? Womenists? Yes. Where is it? Down at the bottom right there. Okay, cool. Excellent. Seven, seven kids, six. six women. Six women. That's, that's not nearly close to Eddie Murphy. It's not 11. No. It's not eight. Right. It's not eight with seven, eight with two. It's a, seven with six seems interesting, though, don't you think? Versus like six with one and one with another. Do you think that? So he he was rich at one time, right? Was I mean, he? Do you think that now that he has <laughs> seven kids, he has a money problem? Did you ever see the show, the uh, thirty for thirty called Broke? No. It's like seventy eight percent, some ridiculous number. There's a thirty for thirty out there called Broke. 70 80 percent of all athletes go broke within like 10 years of their whatever with those kinds of if he had to make all those payments out absolutely what where where's he getting money look at alan iverson remember how fucking oh, is he broke too oh, I, I don't I have no idea he is probably the i don't know if sad's the right thing because he look he could at any time not been himself he could i'm it's weird that we talked said practice remember i re- know you that, said that, that i know that i said that and he's coming up again but in this case it's actually makes sense he had over like a hundred and some million dollars he made and he has no money what's he doing now? in his career nothing i think he, he was trying to play in like cuba or something it was but he i mean i don't think he's doing that now anymore but it's crazy he's probably doing some kind of speaking engagements or something but he he had a hundred he made like a hundred some million dollars in his career and his Baroque. So when you say 70 to 80 percent, is that like the four American major sports? Yeah, I believe that's correct because okay. I think it's Americanized. Uh, I I could look it up, but you know, we should do probably we should dissect that one. That one's an interesting one because it is about sports really. It's just about your consciousness, right? Like we do the same thing where we splurge on things. You yeah. Know, and we need to save a little better. Sometimes. Cameras. I, I don't feel like it's splurge, bro. You <laughs> wanted video. You said, I want video. I, I and then you not. said, I don't oh want God, video. And you. then you said, I do want video. And guess what? I want a video too, but I want a good audio. And now that we have I just both, got used to not having it. So I screwed the pooch. I screwed up again. I'm always a screw up. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think it's my turn. Yeah. Um, How about a gentleman by the name of John Steinbeck? John Steinbeck wrote the first drafts of the Grapes of Wrath, East of Eden, and of Mice and Men, and most every other one of his books the same way, by hand and in pencil. And he was very particular about his pencils, requiring perfectly sharpened black wing 602s. Psycho. Yeah, black wing 602s. Wrote everything by hand in pencil. How about that? How about that? Yeah. Wow. They they are real pencils and they had to be sharp. What a apparently. psycho. Yeah, that's pretty fucking nuts. Oh, they're nice. Some nice pencils, John yeah, Steinbeck. Some very nice pencils. Damn, look at these things. Whoa. These are like oh, they got Wow, we should put a link to the pencil. I think we could some increase nice pencil ass scale. too. Pencil says, "Look at this thing. Little pencil should give you 150 bucks." Fuck that. What the app? Well, look at this for this little well, pink if you're into writing, you know, maybe that's important like, to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And they have to be perfectly sharpened. Anyway. We're nuts, bro. Yes. Well, you know, greatness is craziness. It's not they're not dissimilar, my friend. 
Thank you, Ricky Shorter's thumb. <laughs> you ready? Are you ready for P the Revenge? Our Argentinian goalie Sergio, I can't pronounce his last name, was about to face him. I don't know how to. Fucking, I don't even know what. That's Ola Konova. I don't even. I know, but I don't even know their name, the person's name. So I just Sergio Goychovice was about to face a penalty kick. He was infamous for peeing on the pitch as if to mark his territory. He was also known for his knack at saving penalty kicks. So, as he liked to say, no one complained. Did you say pee on the pitch? Peeing on the pitch. Do you know what the pitch is? No. Okay, that's why it's confusing. Because you're talking soccer. I am. And pitching is an act done in baseball. It is. So, so he says, didn't pee on a baseball. No. He did not see my baseball. Have you peed on my baseball? Have Be you peed on my baseball? Okay, bye, Ted. No, bye, bye, Ted. Have you peed on my baseball? <laughs> um, he no. was infamous for peeing on the pitch. The pitch is no is what the grass is the field. The pit. It's called okay. the pitch. Because I think it has to do with like wartime back in the day. Remember you had to make pitch? Like they, pitch is the field. It's, it's basically what we would call the field. Okay. So football field, baseball field, it's called the soccer pitch or football pitch. They should have just said fucking grass. Yeah, I know, but they had they're, they're soccer snobs, bro. Okay, soccer snobs fine. are the worst. Okay. They're the worst. Did you, weren't you Googling something? Beer Googling I something? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's my turn is my okay, turn. That's great. why it's my turn, because it's my turn. We're going to go coaching, sir. Yes. Jerry Emmer Effering. Hurricaneian. Yes. UNLV running reps? Yes. Who, who else? Not um, Old Miss. Not Old Miss? Also uh, Old Miss. I was going to say Miss? the, um, the uh, Admiral Akbars. Coach of Grandma Mall? The Admiral Akbars. The running Akbars. Oh, that's right. The Admiral it's Akbars. It's not a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. He, uh, what, what were we talking about? Damn it. Tarkanian. Admiral Akbar. He won, he won with Grandmama, right? With Alon, Alon, it's not Alonzo Morning. It's, uh, is it Alonzo Morning? Who's I it? have no idea. Anyway. Jerry Tarkanian oh, no, was a wildly on. successful NCAA men's basketball coach, but the only thing anyone ever wants to talk about is the towel. Because he chewed... Oh, he had to chew on a towel during games, according to this. While coaching a game that took place in a sweltering... Southern California high school gym, Tarkanian got fed up with having to constantly go to the water fountain, so he wet a towel and chewed on it to keep his mouth from going dry. Ever since that moment, he chewed a towel out of superstition. That's fucking weird. That is so weird, but so cool. No, it's not. It's fucking no. Well, it's not like he's chewing someone else's wet towel that he just wiped under their pits. I, I get that. It's not like he peed on the towel and suckled on Maybe it. Maybe he just should not pee on the towel. I mean, chew on he the towel. He didn't pee on the towel. Gosh darn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no peeing. No peeing. Oh, God. I'm not doing this one. Okay. I don't care. All right. I, I, I'm I don't, saying. All right. I don't care about this guy. That one's not bad. It's, yeah, that one's that it's one's interesting. Weird. Yeah, we that one definitely. Okay, good. It's your all turn. Right. I'm sorry. Charles Dickens. Dickens. From the land... Of the lost? Of literature. Oh, no. Land of the lost. Also, the land of the lost. Charles Dickens wrote Sleeslash. many dinosaur fantasy books, as well as... Oh, no, he didn't. Charles Dickens carried a navigational compass with him at all times and always faced north when he slept. He believed it improved his creativity and writing. Well done. So there's a scientific reason as to people what believe in superstitions. Well, he believed that. that or was he real. fucking crazy? Well, um, Islam, Muslim, praise to the East? Yes. Enough said? I don't sure. Know. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a that's I don't know if I'd call that a superstitious but a, a tradition but it's Well, a, he always had it's to a religious face tradition. North. So right, but that I'm saying seems it's a religious... superstitious to me. Yeah, no, no, I, I know. Because he but... believed it made him more creative. But when praying, you have to face east. You're telling me that's not a tradition, oh, okay. superstition kind of thing? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, How about one Michael Aloysius Bibby? Mike Bibby. 
I, he played for a while. I know. Yeah, that. I know that. He dude. used to clip his fingernails during timeouts. He should have been on our misophonia <laughs> episode. Did he do it at work? Baby. In his cubicle? On timeouts. On he did it to work on the fucking bench. He must did have he done it. He did it at work, of course. Into voicemails? Uh, I hope <laughs> not. Like the, not like <laughs> the Woodsinator over here. You're welcome. Baby used to just pick at his fingernails obsessively like lots of people do. However, he must have built up a tolerance since he had to move to nail clippers. This nail ritual has gotten to the point where his team's trainers will hand him a nail clipper during timeout so he can work on them while the coach yells about something else entirely. That's fucking weird, dude. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> this one's weird. Too. Why would you? But after, okay, how many times? I, gotta, I like how many timeouts are there in one game? Like twenty three, a, a, a lot. <laughs> I think it's like forty two so, per side. So does he clip like per half per he, side? He clips like half of one nail uh, per timeout. Bro, I don't know, man. I think that's super weird, Maybe dude. Maybe just takes a little off the top every time. I don't, I don't, bro. I don't know, man. You got nothing? I got zero tango nadas, nada of the tangos. I was gonna steal that, but you, you no, can, take it. No, you can have no, it. I'll next. Go, I'll do another P one. I've got a different one. Go. Okay. Take it, Megan Fox. Yeah. yeah. She explains the weird. Megzy Fox. Megzy is a fox. Hi, Megzy. Hi, Megzy. The Transformers star. Oh, Transformers. Oh, yeah. Also, she's also a fox fox. She explained the weird way she Brian copes. Brian Austin Green's wife. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe ex wife, but definitely married at some point. Oh. I think oh. they're still married. Sure. She explained the weird way she copes with her fear of flying. By listening to fucking Britney Spears. Ugh. I know for a fact it's not in my destiny to die while listening to a Britney Spears album. So I always put that on my headphones when I'm flying because I know I won't crash if I've got Britney on. Bro. Bro. Stop. Britney dropped a baby of hers on its head. <laughs> oh, okay. You think listening is going to protect you from falling out of this plummet? plummeting out of the sky you're not even a blood fucking relative of hers you're not you didn't come from her vagina hey maybe britney's her messiah look britney megan, will protect her megan ms Fo mrs mrs austin mrs. green Brian. mrs austin green fox mrs fox austin green please please let britney go she drops children on their heads by let accident it go. so you don't want to you don't want to plummet out of the sky by let accident. it go but yes brian austin green's wife how about that you're welcome. Well, now yes. it's time to go here. Um, Richie Ashburn was a longtime announcer with the Phillies. That's why I'm going to go. Oh, I'm that's from awesome. Philadelphia. A Philadelphia. He probably announced the game that I flew out of the car windshield on the drive home and got my first. Well, that wasn't TBI? my first. That wasn't my first crack at it. <laughs> <laughs> I had plenty of cracks in my skull. So Richie Ashburn from the Philadelphia, of Philly, Philadelphia Phillies lore we're going to go home, have some macaroni gravy, listen to Harry Callis talk about Michael Jack Schmidt. It's out of here, home run. And I do a pretty good Harry Callis. He, de he decided to take over for some NFL films as well before he died. You know, he, found, he was found dead in the announcer chair. No. Yeah. yeah if, they, you're gonna, if you're going to go, it's not the best. They, yeah, they won. I mean, he did it for like forever. It is the way to go. He always had a ritual of smoking a cigarette before the game or whatever, and he was found in in the chair sitting there. Would you say that's a superstition? Uh, I got to smoke a cigarette a before ritual, every game. Yeah, I mean it's superstition slash ritual thing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, routine ritual, whatever. So uh, Richie Ashburn slept with his bats when Philly's outfielder Richie Ashburn had a torrid streak at the plate. He would take the bat he was using at the time home with him and slept with it in his bed. He did this in order to make sure clubhouse attendants didn't mix bat his bats in with the rest of the inferior ones. Inferior. That's so smart. The superstition worked. Ashburn was elected to Cooperstown in 1995. That's where the Hall of Fame is. Ashburn, also in certain known circles, was Whitey. Whitey Ashburn, That's he was the announcer. Whitey Ashburn. Popular color commentator of the Phillies broadcast after his playing days. He used to quip that he slept with a lot of old bats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. He was great. He really, he was a phenomenal announcer. It was a good team. They were really together. Harry Callis and Whitey. Whitey Ashburn were really, they were just great people. Was that like the sound of your childhood? Did you listen yeah. to a lot of Phillies games? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. We we went to the pool a lot. We had a German club, so we went in the pool and having a radio on with that okay. playing. In the background? Yeah, while you're sitting there. You know, it's you're sitting on the grass or you're whatever. I mean, it's it's the chill time. It's ba- it's it's unwind. Baseball is such an unwind sport. It's such an anti sport. It really is an anti sport. It's not timed. It you know, the the defense puts the ball into play. Like there's so many things different about baseball. And I, I don't care for it anymore, but I didn't care for it because of the system. Kind of the same thing with the other systems we talk about, right? Cheating, covered up. Covered oh, up cheating yeah. was bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the 93 thing, the strike was bad, and the cheating cover up thing, really, it just, it finished it for me. I'm sorry. I, no, you don't. You're, I mean, don't, I, I don't watch NFL, so, it, I mean, you know, I get you, dude. Yeah, I mean, it, suck, it sucks that it initially happened, but that you covered up afterward. Yeah. that That's unacceptable. We've talked about this ad nauseum. I'll shut up. No, I, I get it, man. Anyway, go ahead. I only got one left, bro. Okay. You got 19. No, 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 19. Uh-oh. iPad is updating. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Nope. Well, I'll let you do a couple of these, sir, because I've got, like, so many of them. No, oh, where did it go? Oh, my God. Here, man, pick one. Go. You're what? up. It's my turn? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to do another Philadelphia one. We'll go back-to-back Phillies. Okay. Not not Phillies, but back-to-back Philadelphia. Philadelphia's. Um, rest in peace, Pelly Lindbergh. Pelly Lindbergh died in a tragic accident in his Porsche driving home. Uh, he, w- he was under the influence of alcohol. And it was a weird, there's this weird turn in Philadelphia, and he jumped the curb and went right into this, like, brick wall like head on and he died um he sad was, yeah really sad but um he used to drink a prips beer during every intermission what's prips it's a beer bro oh no shit well just listen maybe if i read this oh, you'll I'm get sorry. some context bro fuck, maybe sorry. Like, can we mourn a little bit before <laughs> can we let fuck, sorry can we let okay uh, it's okay Pelly Lindbergh left a large impression on NHL despite being in the league for only five years. He was the first European player ever to win a Vezina trophy. He won the trophy uh, on a losing team. I, or no, yeah, I think. Uh, whatever it was. Lindbergh also garnered the attention for his white mask and being the first goaltender in NHL hit- history to carry a bottle, water bottle with him onto the ice. So look at that. So he had that. That might have been a superstition. Yeah, right? Huh. How about that? Behind the scenes, Lindbergh had two interesting quirks. He wo- he wore the same he would wear the same orange t-shirt under his hockey pads throughout his entire career. It ended up getting so worn out that he would have to constantly sew the shirt back together. Wow. And he only lived f- I mean, well, he 5 years, so he didn't if he had a real career, if he didn't have passed, he may have had to replace that shirt at some point. Yeah, right. Lindbergh would also drink a Swedish beer known as Prips. P-R-I-P-P-S, in between every single period. The beer also had to be served to him by a particular assistant coach, and each glass had to have two ice cubes in it. Okay. Now that's I've never heard of that beer before. Goalies are crazy motherfuckers, bro. Not, uh, okay. Just saying. There it is. Pete on his hands. Yeah, uh, thanks. All okay, over. fine. <laughs> oh, there's another one that that's eats the, turf. He's the one that eats the grass. I know, because he could shut up. <laughs> what else you got? All right, man. I'm gonna finish off strong. You ready? Yeah. Are we done? Should I just should we just close it off? Or are we gonna? Oh no, you can do as many as you want. But I only got one left. You can do that. Can you? Are NASCAR you can shits? we still go back and forth with us? Sure. I have them. You can just look at them. Okay. Please. That's fine. I am having so much fun. Oh, my God. But you can you can shut it down. We can All shut right. it down. No, I don't mind. Okay. I'm gonna finish off on the P note. <laughs> Is that like the brown note? UFC but? heavyweight champion Lyoto Machiga. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Lyoto Mishida. Thank yes. you. Jesus. Hey. Sorry, he's Brazilian. <laughs> Lyoto Mishida. Uh, yes. His father fled his country and went to Brazil. Lyoto Mishida. Yeah, he's an interesting cat. Okay. He is very interesting. What P what did he pee? Every morning, the Brazilian karate master drinks his own urine. I knew that. He revealed that he picked up the practice from his father, who also a karate master. He believes urine is a natural medicine that cleanses the body. This gentleman, also known as the dragon, has yet to lose a round in his professional mixed martial arts career. That is no longer true. 
He's so lost, he's, since, he's not only lost a round, he's lost many fights. I'm this not gonna just get into in, that. he's lost a shitload. Yeah, so uh, good job. How's that pee working out for you now, uh, Leo? <laughs> Choke on that pee. You're in trouble now. Pee boy. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Is he behind, is he behind me? Oh, okay. I hope not. Okay, good. Yeah, well, he can kick your ass, I can tell you that much. Well, no shit. Because even with, even with 100 with losses, he can With or without pee, he can beat my ass. He could absolutely beat your ass. Some of these I don't even want to do. Yeah, I don't care about Cameron Diaz. Yeah, I don't care about all that. I'm like, when I, why would you even say that? I'm not, I'm not going to even mention the name. I found this one interesting, though. Please. Ms. Ariana Tall. Moody Grande. No, Venti. Yes. No, um, Tall, Venti. What's that? What's that other one? The one I'm ordering latte from Starbucks. Tall and Venti. Large. It's, it's the one in the middle. Mui. Oh, Ariana something. God damn it. Grande C. I <laughs> thought we would. I thought we could milk that a little bit, but I guess. Good not. job. We we didn't. It, it was awful. According to uh, Teen Vogue. Oh. Ariana yes. Grande's relationship with donuts does not end with the licking them. Oh dear lord, as she's famously criticized for in 2015. Before handing it big, the singer reportedly used to eat chocolate donuts before important auditions for good luck. All right. That's what I do. I, I, uh, well, you know what I just do? Eat chocolate donuts. Uh, yeah, right. This one's, you I think. You got WD-19, bro? I got 43. Yeah. I, I'm three past the 40. They, I didn't stop at 40. I, <laughs> I, I need more WD. I need D's. <laughs> I need D's, D's. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, sir. Yes. Baby powdered the end of his stick prior to. To face off. Why? Well, probably thought grip or some shit, but one does not earn the moniker the great one without doing a few things that are a little strange. Gretzky always put on his uniform in a certain order, fired the first shot of warm ups wide right of the net, and would drink a Diet Coke, a glass of ice water, a Gatorade, and another Diet Coke in that order prior to game time. That's a lot of liquid. The last thing he would do before stepping on the ice was urinate in the corner. Oh, my God. That's right. You're right. It was a lot of liquid. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He does not do that. That was a joke, ladies and gentlemen. In the corner of the rink? What does that say? No. <laughs> last thing he would do before stepping on the ice was apply baby powder to the blade of blade of his stick. To blade. Was there a reason for baby powder? Gretzky once said, I think it's essentially a matter of taking care of what takes care of you. Oh, that's actually kind of smart. It's kind of a mental thing there. Cool. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Did you ever do anything like that, sports related? You know, I can't. I never did. I had a routine. No, but my like when I go to work, like my routine is I get up exactly six a.m. I do. I jump right in the shower. I do exactly this. And if any break in that routine, it will throw off my day because I'll forget a step in the routine by not doing it in the order. So I need to call you tomorrow at six o six a.m. to fuck up your shit. No, I'll be in the shower at that point. So. Oh. If you call, if you six twelve, if you turn off my alarm, like grab my phone, turn it off right now, yeah, and then call me at six twenty four, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not superstition. That's like no, it's routine. Is that's what it is. yeah, and that's, that's what, what you I think do every day. I think that's what a lot of superstitions are. Like, uh, uh, Nomar Garcia para. Yeah, the reason he did that was why, right? Because like it's like routine. To your point, it felt snug or whatever, but it's yeah. like it's routine. I go left, right, left, right, boom, 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 hit, 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 hit. I'll I will hit, 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 hit if I do these previous steps, right? That's the order. It's almost like a pattern. Then yes, That's what routine? Is, yes. So. Um, what the frig is this? NASCAR bitches. Want to talk about this one? Uh, not really, but I will. No, you. Uh, it's, it's interesting. Tell me when to stop. Is it go interesting? back? Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. I do think it's interesting too. Go ahead and read that. NASCAR has several superstitions. Most notably, they do not allow peanut shells on the track, which is very upsetting because I do love the nuts. These nuts. <laughs> I love nuts, too. There are no green cars since they are considered bad luck. That's fucking dumb. Really? Is it because they're not ripe yet? Uh, correct. Wait a minute. Isn't and Interstate Batteries green? They also green? don't like avocados. Isn't, that, Those isn't Interstate bastards. Batteries green? It's black and green, yeah. Well, then it can't be mostly oh, green. green. Okay. I don't know, dude. Uh, whatever. I don't watch that shit. Uh, no driver carries fifty dollar bills as they're also considered bad luck. But they got a shit ton of Jeffersons because they're all Southern racists. Uh, not all of them. <laughs> I'm just sure. 
I was making a stupid joke. There's it no peanut hit, shells permitted on the track. Any other peanut product is fine. Just no shells are allowed. This is due to the crashes that happened decades ago when peanut shells were found in the wrecks of drivers who had died. That sounds disgusting. So were they in eating, them? Were they eating peanuts during the or, race? Or were they like embedded by the impact? Oh shit, that's messed up, man. That's really screwy. I don't I don't know, but that one seemed odd. Do you want that one? Sure. Cuz you like, well, you like you like baseball. I do. <sighs> <laughs> I don't understand you, man. I, but I love you, and I do understand. Well, we understand each other. Did that one? I'm gonna do a twofer just because these are oh, the ones. Okay, yeah. Like, these are they're not they're not real bitches, but they're basic bitches. Emma Roberts won't walk under ladders. Who's that? She's an actor. Okay. Uh, American Horror Story is what she's. I never watched that. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't walk under ladders. And Missy Miss Missy Misdemeanor Elliot. Who's that? She's a rapper. Oh. She does not let black cats cross her path. She used to come to my neighborhood. She goes, go and get your freak on. I'm Missy, Missy, Missy. Holla. That was the best cover what? of a song what? ever. Yeah, she doesn't do black cats, and Emma Roberts does not walk on her ladders. Okay. Uh, they're boring. I'm moving on, but I, I just know, want to it's mention just that. funny. I You're, just like doing my. I wanted to do Missy. Is I that went, what it is? Don't, 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 don't. Get, get your freak on. Don't, Isn't that the one that has like an elephant don't, don't, don't. sound in it? Isn't there like a brrr, like an yeah, elephant? Yeah. Brrr, yeah, something like that. What, why? Why would? Because I think it's something about chili or zoom brrr, zim zima. Who got the? Oh, beep beep. Who got the che- keys to the jeep? Vroom. That's also, I believe, a Missy misdemeanor. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that was fun. I had to go off camera for a second. Why? I had to pick, I had to pick my ball, my ball sack. What? I had to pick my Your taint. sack is not in the camera it's not, shot. It's not in there. I swear it's not. But before you continue, are you going to Google Missy Misdemeanor? Well, I'm going to go beep beep. beep, beep who Jeep? got the keys to the Jeep? Is that the name of the song? Yeah. Look, Missy Elliott. Boom. Missy Misdemeanor Elliot. It's called The Rain. I can't stop the rain out my window. I, I no, can't stand the one rain. Of those, one of her super popular songs, it sounds like an elephant making a sound. I don't. I remember that from like 15 years ago. All right. I, I can't Google that well. Yeah. Missy Misdemeanor Elliot elephant sound. I'm kidding. Don't do it. I'm, I'm going to do. I'm just going to go beep, beep. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Vroom. I'm see, driving to the beach, top down, loud sounds. See my peeps. Yeah, got them pounds. Now look who it be. Who it be? It, it be, be me, 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 me and, and Timmy, Timothy. Me, 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 me. I'm going to grammar class now. Yay, me. Grammar or grammar? Both. Both of them. <laughs> that sounds about right. All the Fs. Both. All right. Well, well, let's. Who's next on your list, sir? Vladimir Putin Guerrero. <laughs> Oh man, Coming I in miss hot. Vladimir Poutine. It's so <laughs> delicious. All the poutines. Uh, his teammates help him dirty his own helmet. Ooh. For as long as Vladimir Putin Guerrero has played in Major League Baseball, he's always <laughs> sported a dirty pine tar covered helmet while at the plate. The Impaler, as he's known, his helmet is covered in dirt from the dugout pine tar and the spit. spit of himself and his teammates, the thing that I hate the most about baseball is the spitting. Right? That's why it's called hockey. Uh, that's true. Before every season, Vlad leaves his helmet on the floor of the dugout while his teammates do whatever they want to it. Ew. As the season goes by, he adds more pine tar to it. Does that mean they pee on it too? Oh, I was man. just going to ask, how many, oh, pee, no. how many of your previous peers... We're teammates of Vladimir Guerrero. It had oh, to be right. Moises Alou for sure, bro. Oh, Alou, you dirty, dirty bastard. That's hilarious. I and I wasn't even really interested in that one, but that one that one I that now, now I'm glad that we did go over that one. Yeah, see? I didn't realize that he put it on the floor and Yeah, and let them do whatever. I, to I didn't it. know that part. How much how much monkey poop is on that? I mean, <laughs> how, like, no, I'm that's not, just coffee beans. I'm dude. not spending five bucks, but how much how many people it's way did more their, than five bucks. how many pooped in their hands and threw it against the helmet? Oh god, dude. Hmm? You, at least one. 
Yeah, totally. Totally. I believe so. Yes. I can't think of another thing. So many poops. I'm thinking this oh, we there's... we've covered enough, right? Have we had enough superstitions for yeah. the day? What else you got? We're gonna close it on one. Okay. It's a woman. Is it Missy Misdemeanor Out? It is. Zoom, beep, beep. In your zoom. Who got the keys to my Jeep? Boom, boom. Vroom. Actually, there's two more. Okay. I'm going to let you close. Actually, could you do this one? I and would I'll close love on this to one? do Benny. This one's a cool one, actually. Mm -hmm. I just read it, and I was like, holy shit, that's pretty cool. This one's really interesting. Benjamin Who? Franklin. Yes. Author, inventor, diplomat, and scientist. And chlamydia survivor. <laughs> Or syphilis about whichever one. He had both. I both think. of them. He had both of them. He did not know that there was an H in chlamydia. <laughs> Who knew? Chlam like challah, chlamydia. Yeah, it's a silent H. It's it okay. Is. Ben Franklin swore by air baths. Before he started his work day, Mr. Franklin would sit down without any clothes on for up to an hour in front of an open window on the first floor of his building. He wrote that the shock of cold water was too violent for him, that little bitch, and it was more agreeable for him to bathe in cold air. What a weirdo. And it was cold in Philly a lot. Franklin would either read or write while well, during his, quote, bath. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> so he would just free ball it. And I'm free. Free balling. You're terrible. welcome, Tony. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome for that. Horrible. Um, you're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Actually, yeah. We're Actually, good. no. Actually, All right. yeah, no. And for the win, sir. I would. I don't think you can hear it, but. Ooh, that's actually. That's pretty well. good. Yeah. What about? Oh. For the win. Yes. Ms. T. Swizzle, Taylor Swift. Yeah. Lucky number 13. Taylor Swift is drawn to the number 13, and it's seemingly drawn to her, too. I was born on the 13th. I turned 13 on Friday the 13th. My first album went gold in 13 weeks. My first number one song had a 13-second intro. She reported to MTV in 2009. She's been around that long that MTV was still relevant at the time. So congratulations. <laughs> they're not. They're not. No, they, they were weren't. at that time. They, that's a lie. Well, no, uh, but 10, 11 years ago. But <sighs> Every time I've won an award, I've been seated in either the 13th seat, the 13th row, the 13th section, or row M, which is the 13th letter. So you basically asked to be see it sat there because you win an award every time. <laughs> I'm, I mean, she is, she's talented, right? Like, she wins. She's not going to lose. As a matter of fact, how many times did Kanye West yell at you? 13 times? Just once. I'm going to let you finish. Do you think that she would be okay with staying on the 13th floor of a hotel? I bet. Because some, some, some hotels don't. don't have that they just, well, they, the, Yeah, the 13th the, is really the, the 14th. 14th right. right. They just don't have a number on it. Correct. But it's technically still the 13th floor. But yeah, Correct. Maybe it could be very well. But she probably just likes it. You know, it's probably pretty cool. Did I ever tell you my story about the I'm going to let you finish? My little skit I came up with? No. Is that what this note means? Yes. I just read that today. Yes. And I wanted to burn it. Yeah, this is what's funny about it. The, Lay the whole, it on us, okay. Mark. So the skit is Jay-Z is cheating. What's hilarious about this is this is before he actually cheated on Beyonce. He cheated I on Beyonce? I didn't know that. I, did, I swear, I don't keep up with this shit. Hello, look at your eyeballs. Hello, Twitter uh, I can't believe it. Woods don't know he cheated. We need to talk, we need to talk offline, sir. This just in. Okay. Who did part, he cheat on part, her with? Part of the consciousness about knocked conscious and the beer Google is that we have to be a little more in tune in the world. I'm still pl unplugged, and it's good that we're healthily unplugged. But bro, they wrote a whole album about the cheating. Oh, really? Uh -huh. They wrote a whole album. She wrote an album called Lemonade. It was that thing on HBO. Oh. There was a there was like a whole like what does lemonade have to do with Jay Z? It's the tight. It's just called lemonade because I think they were making lemonade out of lemons. He cheated oh. on her with his hairdresser of X amount of years. Like oh, they okay. they had a really like real relation like relationshipy. They hung out all the time. So he so had a mistress. I, 
I don't know. I don't know this. I just know that there was an there was there was adultery involved. Anyway. Oh, dude. You know what? You don't care. Not at all. <laughs> I knew it because I love you. I fucking know you too well, bro. So anyway, with T Swizzle's thirteen. So uh, everyone knows the story about Kanye jumping on stage, interrupting. What a piece of shit that guy is. So well, my skit was Jay Z's banging Kanye, uh, banging T Swizz. I was hoping he was banging Kanye. And right, as I he, might actually right, like, be like. So he's like he's like cheating on Beyonce with with. With T Swizz, Swizz and he's all up in there, whatever way they do it. Maybe smacking that at who knows? Maybe they're doing missionary. Doggy. Maybe they're doing, yeah. Maybe they're just boring. Maybe they're just like it's definitely boring. Reverse cowgirl, upside down, <laughs> nuclear blast, whatever the fuck. What is. the fuck is that? I don't. Is Kama that like, Sutra position forty eight? Is that, is that like know. Baja blast but different? <laughs> just make sure you add the old Mountain Dew second, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, so Jay Z's like middle. He's building and he's building. All of a sudden, Kanye busts in and he's like, "I'm gonna let you finish." But Beyonce should have had your penis. That shit would be gold because that's the whole thing, right? Didn't yeah. didn't wasn't it her video? Yeah, that would that skit. They should have done it, and you I don't know. I should email have, SNL. Should I have submitted that? Because yeah, that is fucking hilarious. It is. I'm gonna let you finish, but you should be in Beyonce, and like the whole fucking the way that worked. Oh man, that would have been awesome. That's where my mind goes, sir. Thank you, thank you for the darkness. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> thank you for allowing us to have two uh, types of podcasts. Because when I get to do that, it allows me to do that. Can I? Can you burn that now? N- no, I need it for when I when I get CTE. Uh, my CTE in the top drawer, bro. When my CTE I is like a seventeen and a half out of nine, 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 19, 19. 17. 19. Yeah, we're going to. I'm going to need that note to read it again and get. Oh yeah, I remember when I was funny. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember that. Who wrote this? This, this is, is funny. Who this, wrote this? This is my writing. I I wouldn't even know that. I'd probably have to do this. This looks like a number six pencil, like that one guy Steinbeck used. Yeah, the uh, glowy six twenty or whatever the fuck that thing was. <laughs> a gl- gossamer, gossamer. Oh, gossamer, my favorite monster. Gossamer is Coming that home. like people? Remember that? Oh, I love the little working when Bugs Bunny. Oh, little yes. guy, the little orange guy, the hairy guy. Look out there, Doc. You see what's out there? And he's like, people! And he runs away. I'm going to blow up the earth. That's Marvin. Yes, it is. So we've done some superstitions. I think I'm kind of over the list. Like, I Do you want to? That's Sesame Street. No, no, that's Muppets, right? My mama, no. Animal! Chris and Jenna would like fun yarn. Anyway, so that's no, no, been, no. that's been a Google's to beers. Hey, Jace. sir, salute. We're back on video. Congratulations once again. Have you have you seen my mug? This oh, episode's been get... brought to you by Death Wish Coffee. Oh, Death Wish Coffee and the check mugs. Thank you. Listen. Well, we knew that again. Subscribe, please. Follow us. Rate. Review. Download. Engage other stuff. Yeah, Twit. retweet, retweet, tweet, share, Twitter, retweet, Facebook. The page we're at Noctcon, at Not Conscious, at Not Con is our Twitter, at Not Conscious, and at Not Con is our Instagram. We're starting. To, we're starting to build up our Insta. We're, we're starting today. We are starting along with our video relaunch. We're starting today. Yeah, boys and girls. Thank you so much to everyone who's given us a listen. Um, truly grateful as always. Also, what superstitions do you guys know about that we don't know about? Yeah. Sports stuff, celebrities, leave a comment, all that stuff. Yeah. Do that. And then we're going to have a normal people superstition in about a month. What superstitions do you have? Yeah. Can you, can you DM us? Tell us. I think I have allowed everyone to DM me. You don't even have to follow us. Just look for at K N O C K E D C O N at knocked. Con or at Beer Googles? No, you. Oh, me? Oh, I'm Woodsy the Owl. Yeah, how's S-E-Y. that spell? Yeah, how, can, you, can you do the whole thing? W O O D S E Y, the owl. Dude, are you picking my mocos? I was. Is that your nose? Mocos? Mocos is boogers. Oh, boogers. Nariz is nose, senor. Uh, oh, we're booger Google, Googlings? No. You've that's been why listening. I, that's oh. why I call the dog booger, because it's. And moco, same and thing. You, booger and, moco. And, and also, been, Tambian. And, and this has been Beer Googles. This has been Beer Googles. Double D- E. Double O.
Double G. Peace out. Be excellent to each other. Be excellent to each other, bro. Bro. Back to the videos. Excellente. Beef oven. You got so it. So great. Take care.